Now, it is time to find out who will become tonight's unexpected star of the show! <laughs> Every week, we have been surprising a member of the public who think they're coming to the theatre for work. Now, this is Shannon Taiwo. There he is, there's Shannon. <laughs> You've immediately warmed to him. He's 21 years old. He lives in Kent, where he works doing odd jobs as a handyman. And this is him doing handyman stuff. There he is. That's proof. That's what a handyman he is. <laughs> he prefers not to see where he's going. <laughs> Shannon thinks he's coming to the theatre tonight for a simple removals job. Of course, he's actually here for a very different reason. It's Shannon's dream to perform on the West End stage. And I happen to have one here. So tonight... <laughs> So tonight we're going to make his dream a reality because Shannon is going to be our unexpected star of the show. You up for that? OK. So Shannon is on his way to the theatre right now for the biggest surprise of his life. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen tonight. So, he's going to arrive at the theatre, he's going to wait down... We've got a job for him to do downstairs, a removals job. Then he's going to be sent to a storeroom mm -hmm, to get a box. <laughs> and this storeroom is actually going to be right here where I'm standing. So, there's going to be a corridor here that's going to extend onto the stage, and then there'll be this room, which is incredibly authentic-looking storeroom. There's going to be a box in it. Then he's going to lift up the box, and when he lifts up the box, the shelves are going to collapse. We're all going to watch this on the screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then the walls of the storeroom are going to collapse here. <laughs> and then your responsibility is then to go from complete silence to absolute mayhem <laughs> as we really, really give him an unexpected surprise moment. Are you up for that, ladies and gentlemen? OK, I can tell you that Shannon has arrived and is in the building. Yeah! I think we can see him arriving. Here comes Shannon, who seems to be with a snooker referee. <laughs> there he is! OK, he's in a room downstairs and he's already getting to work. There he is, removing. There's my wife standing in the corner. <laughs> But the focus here is on Shannon. Let's see him complete this job. Be the showman! Be the showman! Be the showman! Be the... Oh! He... he did the little thing. He's born to be on the stage. So let's bring out the corridor in the, in the, in the room. Let's do that. The irony is we probably could have got Shannon to do this bit too. <laughs> So I'm going to have a look in it, all right? So I'm just going to get in it. <laughs> right. H have I been picked up anyway yet? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, so this is the corridor where he's going to come through. And this says storeroom, if there's a camera <laughs> on the bottom. Oh, hello. <laughs> so this will be the moment that picks Shannon up when he goes into the room, OK? So, in we go, into the storeroom, which... Ah! Oh, it looks amazing. I don't know who's, who's picking me up. Are you there? <laughs> Where are you? Well, th that one. <laughs> OK. All right. So, as you can see, there are many cameras in here um, to cover the moment. Um, and it says CCTV. Can, 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 you see where, can you see where it says CCTV? I only imagine that he'll suddenly think there's been an enormous level of theft of new rolls <laughs> and cloths and towels. The theatre have just clamped... They've had a clamp down, you know? <laughs> so that hopefully will explain the situation. OK, so he'll come in here and he'll pick up this box, which is quite heavy, and he's going to turn around and then all this is going to collapse, these are going to collapse, and he's going to have this huge... Amazing moment. All right, I'll come back out and see you, and then we'll bring Shannon up, OK? All right. And look, we don't know how he's going to react, so I'll take one of these. <laughs> All right, so I'll just come out here, and then we'll, get, we'll do this. <laughs> I don't think I really need this, unless you need it, Parissa. <laughs> OK, let's do it. Let's bring him up. Let's bring him up. Hello, fellas. Um, 
I've got a couple of big boxes upstairs. Can I grab someone strong to give me a hand? Just get them. Yeah, it's yeah. the same stuff again, just stuff we can bring down here. Yeah, that's fine. Don't if that's all right, do you mind? Yeah, that's OK. Don't worry about it. Thanks, mate. I reckon you'll be here probably one more hour, maybe two hours, if that's all right. Yeah. <coughs> so, actually, because you're the stronger man of the two, just in there, there's a, in the shelf, there's a big box that says Fragile. If you grab that one, I'll grab the other one, I'll meet you down here. All right, I'll just here, yeah? Yeah, in that storeroom. Shannon? I would have cry. <laughs> Shannon, you may have said that this is not a real job, and if it is, <laughs> you've made a mess of it. <laughs> um, Shannon, you are here on my show yeah. to hopefully be something that we're calling the unexpected star Ooh. of the show. <laughs> You're a bit of a performer, aren't you, Shannon? I like to sing, yeah. You enjoy singing? Yeah. OK. <laughs> what the plan is, with your consent, Shannon, um, we've actually arranged a performance for you at the end of the show <laughs> on this stage for 2,500 people. So um, all I need to do is ask you if you are prepared tonight to be our unexpected star of the show. You up for it, Shannon? Yeah. <laughs> Singing Beauty School Dropout from the musical Grease, it's our handyman, Shannon Taiwan! So he sat to tell a teenage near to well, most mixed up, non delinquent. On the block Your future is so unclear now What's left of your career now Can't even get a trade in on your smile <laughs> School dropout, no graduation day for you. The school dropout, missed your midterms and flunked shampoo. Well, at least you could have taken time to wash and clean your clothes up after spending all that dough to have the doctor fix your nose up. Baby, don't sweat it. You're not cut out to hold a job. Better forget it. Who wants their hair done by a slob? Well, your bangs are curled, your lashes twirled, but still the world is cruel. Wipe off that angel face and go back to high school. Baby, don't blow it. Don't put my good advice to shame. Even you know it. Even dear rabbit in the stain. Well, I bought the shot, get off the pot. I really gotta fly. <laughs> gotta be going to that no shop in the sky. Go back. 
back to high school.